Hey, Motorman here. I'm going to cut down the windshield on my Road King. Right now it's 22 inches tall. That's measuring from the bottom of the windshield, cut out right here, all the way up to the top. And that's fine if you're six foot five, I guess, or six foot four, but I'm barely six foot, so it is a little high. That combined with the street glide seat that I've got on here, which is pretty low, I'm looking almost halfway through the windshield. I know from experience, because I've cut down probably four or five of these before on Road Kings, that about 17 or 18 inches is ideal. That means if it starts to rain, I could duck down slightly or uh, I could look over the windshield in normal riding position. So to get the bike ready, first thing I'm going to do is put some uh, towers or blankets over because I don't want, when I cut the windshield, I'm going to have all little pieces of uh, plastic all over the place. It's much easier to get them off the, uh, the towels or the blankets rather than the paint on the motorcycle. So that's the first thing, cover the bike. Then I'll cover the windshield with masking tape. And then I'll show you how I get the, the proper radius. The top of this windshield, the, the stock windshield, it's, uh, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's a little bit too much. So I'm going to make it a little bit straighter across. I'll still have a good curve in it, but not nearly as severe as what the stock shield has. So I'm going to go step by step. This is pretty easy. I'm going to be using a jigsaw and I found that uh, that's the best way to cut it. That combined with a little polishing afterwards and you could barely tell that it's been cut. In fact, you can't tell. Now that I've got it taped off, what I need to do is I'm going to use this as a template. This is the top of a windshield I cut out previously. Now it would be nice if I could just be able to put it over here and get the exact same radius that was on the stock one, but that doesn't work because the windshield gets wider. So what I'm doing is put it up here because I wanted about the same height, it was about 18 inches. And then I simply mark it across here. And if this is slightly off, that's not a big deal because it's easily filed or sanded off. Next step, of course, is to cut it. So measure twice, cut once. In fact, measure three, four times and cut once. Right, now that this is cut, there are some uh, little dips in here, and of course it's kind of rough, but that's not a problem because with some, uh, oh I don't know, about 200 grit, I'll start with sandpaper on a block, and I'll get this as smooth as possible so it gets to where it almost looks factory. Once I've got it sanded really good, then I put some polish on it, back and forth, uh, you know, it's going to take about a good 20-30 minutes to get it perfect, and uh, you won't be able to even tell it was cut. By the way, the reason I say to put the masking tape on both sides is because when you go to sand it, you don't want to be scratching the hell out of the inside of the windshield. So that's why you want to mask both sides of the windshield. And that'll help you out, get keep any kind of damage to absolute minimum. In fact, if you mask it really good, shouldn't be any sanding problems or any sanding marks on the windshield at all. Okay. I'm using 200 right now with the sanding block, and I got it, got it pretty good. You could feel where there's a little bumps or anything where the jigsaw blade wasn't perfect on there, but we'll spend a little time on it. Next, I'll go down to probably about 1500, and maybe even 2000. If I go down to 2000, it should be the top of this should be just as smooth as a factory one. So so far, so good. And the windshield is finished looks pretty good there's a couple of high spots some places I can make it a bit smoother right over here but uh, I, I do that with a file and I know I've got a file someplace in the garage I just can't find it now so I'll probably have to go out and buy one and of course as soon as I do I'll find the one that I've had for years but uh, you know half hour job works pretty good if you're not sure what the height should be 
you know, always give yourself a little bit more. You could always cut more off. You can't add anything to it. So that's it. How to properly cut down your windshield. You can see the top of it looks pretty good. I could use probably a little bit more polishing over here and it would be completely black there on top. But that's the basic job. Almost as good as the factory. This it is a couple of little spots on it I could file down, but that's about it. So maybe five or ten minutes more to make it absolutely perfect. Till next time.